What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Duel video. Today, we're going to be heading back into ranked with a water deck because I want to get used to it before Mega Blastoise and Mega Gyarados come out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into our first match. As you guys can see, we're playing a little bit of a variation on the typical water deck because I am running three Magikarps instead of the one or two. That's typical to see. Now, this is not going to pay off for us in this particular match, I don't think, because, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Don here is running the Twins, which is not fun to see at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and put down Manaphy. I feel like Manaphy buffing Greninja is going to be vital to our Mew matchup. So, um, I'm going to try to evolve right now real fast. Super important. Oh, uh, it's going to be a stealth hit, actually. Not good. That's going to be threatening the game and I'm gonna have to put something down on the goal in just a second oh no that's just gonna be a free surround kill whatever man that's fine um where do we go from here well I'm gonna go right here we're gonna do that you don't have any runners that have direct uh attacking capabilities against my um I guess against my mana fee, you know, like we're not going to lose the mana fee because I'm leaving it open right now, which is good. Uh, the bad part here is that I really need to proc this particular Sceptile. Very important right now that I proc Sceptile, or I mean I proc this Magikarp because otherwise he's sort of prone to being taken out by that Reshiram and that's not something I want to do, especially because we do see the double chance there. So he'll definitely get knocked out if he does go in on us. Uh, but we're just going to try to take him away just a second. Oh, what's this going to be? This is interesting. We're actually going to knock out Sceptile because he got a little bit cocky there, which is awesome. Very, very happy about that one. Now, what we might end up doing here, since there is no overdrive plate put on this Reshiram right now, I think it might be a good time to go try to knock him out, you know? Go ahead and just see if we can. Of course, we're going to get that miss right there. Um, we've been hitting a lot of misses the past two days, and we got excluded from the game there. So, basically, I am not feeling okay about this right now, guys. I gotta say, that's really upsetting. And um, I've had a lot of really bad RNG the past two days, unfortunately. So, it's leading to a lot of losses and stuff. Obviously, I can make up for that when I make better plays and all that good stuff. But, uh, not a big fan of the way that I've been losing matches lately. I have to say, this has not been fun. Because I just get absolutely stomped because of RNG. And you guys can't, you can't say that I haven't been. Because, like, look at the Latios, like, four percenters. I hit two of them in yesterday's video. We hit 12%. Today's video, a little bit, a little bit better. Um, that's not good. That's not good. That's another exclusion right there. Uh, we're gonna just go for the game right now, guys. We're just gonna go for the game because I don't think there's anything else I can do, right? We just have to go for it and hope things go our way. Uh, probably gonna see a defense from Snorlax, I would assume. And we're gonna try to knock him out. I'll double chance because we don't have any direct buffs at this point in time. Hurdle jump is going down. Okay, so you're gonna hurdle jump first. That's, that's all right. We'll double chance it. We'll double chance it because I can put something back. I can put Manaphy back on the goal if I really need to, you know. It's not that huge of a deal. Uh, we can definitely defend. So we're going to just go for this one. Of course, we're going to roll a Fusion Bolt into a miss because that's just how things work. And uh, that's going to be a single Water Shuriken. So basically, I just lost the game because we just Fusion Flared three Pokemon in a row. And I'm very, very salty at the moment, guys. I'm very salty. This is ridiculous. Uh... Wow, yeah, I'm I'm done with this game. We're gonna we're gonna call this one a loss and we're gonna move on because I'm not interested in slowly being taken out because he won't take uh take the win. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. I'm not I'm gonna try not to get tilted here. I'm gonna try not to get tilted and we're gonna jump right in with our next match because there's no way that we should be going up against this many suboptimal matchups. You know, like I have went up against so many twin decks with this deck in particular this is good lieutenant surge all right so we got someone that's almost 3200 so if we do win then we're going to be getting a lot i mean a lot of rating from this one and um uh, i i don't know wow that's an eight chain level zapdos that's terrifying all right well if we win this one we'll definitely be pretty well off we are not seeing any twin dragons there which is pretty nice to see i'm, I'm very happy about that because 
the deck should not be as common as it is. I'm more used to seeing Deoxys, and then all of a sudden I go back to playing this, and I see so many, just a ridiculous amount of Twin Dragon decks. It just strikes me as really odd. So no chain levels on that Mew, so we don't have to worry about suboptimal matchup um, as far as Hypersonic versus R30 damage move, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to set up my Mana Fee right now. I feel like that's not a terrible idea. Unfortunately, I didn't really think that through too well because then he's going to be free to start going after us and then threaten the entry point, which is exactly what's going to go down right now. He's going to advance Zapdos right now, threaten the entry point. I'm going to have to block him off with something. Nothing really goes well against Zapdos uh, or Mew for that matter. I mean, we've really not got a great matchup against this team, but it's definitely better than it is against the Twin Dragons. So I'll, I'll take it. You know, I'll definitely take it. It's not bad. Now, a 108 Thunder Crash, we can beat that. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. We've got Mana Fee. It's no biggie, guys. Don't worry about it. All right. So we got Max Revive, Long Throw, Gold Block, Tropical Energy, and Double Chains. All right. Okay. So what do I have to worry about here as far as being countered? I suppose the Long Throw is something to worry about because eventually it will come into play, no doubt. Um, but other than that, I'm really thinking that we're probably pretty decent off. You know, we're not doing too terrible at the moment. We can just start advancing our Magikarps, hopefully evolve a Gyarados or two, get some decent knockouts earlier on in the game, or at least a couple Storms. That would also be pretty nice. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll just sort of try to take over the entry points and take the game home unless we get some really, really great positioning going on, you know? Cyclone Kick. Not cool, man. Not cool. That's going to be a free Blaziken. Four star. Oh my god, four star Cyclone Kick, 140 damage, that is terrifying. Luckily, it's not perfect, it isn't perfect, and Greninja is not a terrible matchup, believe it or not, especially when we've got Manaphy on board, so I'm not feeling too awful about that. We can go ahead and start advancing against this Magikarp, especially since we do have positive matchup with it, so not too bad there. I really am not a fan of that Gyarados. That thing is terrifying. All right, seven chain level Gyarados. Wow, I wish I had that. That's crazy. Uh, but we are going to evolve right now since I don't want to get stormed. Fortunately, we do have the buff for Mana Feast, so the chain levels are meaningless at the moment, which is pretty nice, although definitely could uh, give me a run for my money if he decides to take Empoleon out right now, which we might see. No, it's actually... It's not gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna be able to knock out Blaziken right right now. That's pretty awesome. I, I thought that Jet Kick might actually do something different, but I guess it's just on knockout, right? Uh, battle opponents knocked out. This Pokemon moves to a spot two steps away after the battle needs wait. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. We are doing pretty well right now, I think. So from here on out, I guess we can double chance this Empoleon. Go for the knockout. If we oh wait. I wish I could have just canceled that. That was bad. That was bad because otherwise I'm I'm being exposed to a surround kill right now if he rolls. Oh god. Well, that's that. <laughs> All right. Good deal, guys. Good deal. Just throwing throwing away my lead. Easy, easy throw away the lead. That is not fun at all. Um, probably going to see an advance from one or the other at this point. I can't imagine we're going to see anything else. Now, that is a little strange in my opinion. I will say that because uh, we're going to be free to sort of back up and play a more defensive role right now. And he should not have given me that opportunity. He should have advanced with Zapdos so we could have flown over. Um, and then, okay, so we're actually going to see an attack right now. He's going full board, full, full offense. And we're not going to get the god roll, guys. Unfortunately, not going to go down right now. That's not what we want at all. I'm going to run back this way. Okay, so what do we want to do from here? I guess I really want to knock out that Terrakion. So we're going to double chance it right now. I'm going to make sure that we lock in our odds at the moment. We need to get rid of that Terrakion. Just make it so it's an even matchup on board. That's super important, I think, for the rest of the matchup. Ah, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to re, we're going to play our odds. We're playing our odds right now. That's actually going to go our way, which is fantastic. I wanted the knockout there and we actually got it, which is really, really nice to see. Probably going to see an advance from Gyarados right about now because I don't have my double chances to defend myself with, unfortunately, but 
we're still doing okay. It's still not half bad. He just needs to apply pressure, you know? He needs to apply pressure because then I can't put down my other Magikarp. I kind of want to proc my, my Magikarp right now, but I'm a little scared of the possibility of giving the Thunder Charge to Zapdos. So I guess we can we can attack Sceptile for free, right? That's that's no biggie. I don't think that well stealth hit doesn't do anything at that point, so I think we're good on that front. Oh, uh, probably gonna see Manaphy get attacked in just a second here, I would imagine, anyways. Wouldn't be good for us unless a Manaphy song went off, then we get a free surround kill on Sceptile, which would definitely be pretty nice to see. Give us more of an offensive push. Double chance going down. You're going for it. Can we please? Get the luck. That is not what we were looking for in the slightest. Very, very, very bad for us. Absolutely terrible, to be completely real with you guys. Um, I'm not sure there's a way that we come back from that, actually. I'm going to goal block right now, just because I feel like it's a complete necessity at the moment that we block him off. But uh, do you, have a, you do not have a hurdle jump, so we're good on that front. We're definitely good on that front. No offensive pressure from a hurdle jump. Hurdle jump. God, I can't talk today. Uh, that's pretty nice. So, gonna take over one entry point. Um, I guess we can start applying pressure with Empoleon, right? And just set him out there and just run him down the lane. You know, otherwise he's gonna he's gonna have to start putting pressure down in some way at some point. Uh, we're probably gonna see an attack on, I guess, Gyarados maybe. Probably Max Revive going down. No, you're gonna block off Empoleon. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. That's fine. Now, why don't we do... We cannot attack Sceptile. We can't do that unless we do it with Empoleon, which I guess we could do. It's not that huge of an issue, right? Uh, we're not getting buffed, though, so I don't think I want to do that, actually. That's probably a pretty terrible move. Why don't we just start advancing... Uh, we'll go like this. We'll just do this. We'll run this way, and probably not the best idea. Probably not the best idea. Probably not going to do too well because he's just going to run it back and forth and back and forth here. But I'm just going to keep doing that. And uh, maybe he'll decide to go on the offensive in just a second. Maybe try to take out that Gyarados. No, he's not going to. We're going back and forth right now. I'm feeling like we need to break through. And we're not going to break through that Terrakion with what I've got on board at the moment. Unless I can unless I can afford to get our Gyarados out. That's the main thing right now is getting Gyarados out of that corner. And I think, I think that my one shot at it is if he decides to go on the offensive. Now he's going to actually attack the Sceptile, which is super risky and actually not going to pay off at all. We are going to grab the knockout there, which is insane. And we don't have any buffs right now, so we've got a crazy positive matchup against that Mew. He's going to obviously block us off here. He's not going to go for it, though. He's not going to go in. Oh, man. Can we actually... Can we just... He has to move Mew at this point, right? So... Yeah, you've got long throw, you've got gold block, so you could gold block, but we're going to try to knock out me right now. I'm going to try to go ahead and bop. Just bop him real good. No, that is going to be a neutral and not quite a free surround kill just yet, but he might move in on us. I doubt it, actually. I doubt it. He's not going to risk that. So he's not even going to worry about a surround kill. He's going to anticipate me eventually knocking out Mew. Actually, it's going to be another shuttle flip into... A 30 damage move, which I did not want to see anyways, because Psychic versus that move is our only negative matchup other than just straight up hitting a miss. So we're just going to try to knock out this Mew real fast. That's going to be a Hydro Pump versus a Psychic, which is exactly what we want to see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we make this one happen real quick? Just real fast. Uh, do I want to go for the knockout? That's not a good idea right now. That is not a good idea at all. We're going to take the entry point. So then I guess my real option here is to just go after Gyarados. We have to knock out that Gyarados. That thing is terrifying. I want my mana fee back, by the way. That's super important to get down. And I almost should be running a long throw plate at this point in time. Did you disconnect? Why would you disconnect? You've got this down, my dude. Don't disconnect on me. Um, like, we are, we are really not doing well in this game right now, you know? This is not going well for us, but we're gaining a whole lot of time back, which is really nice. Only six seconds off at this point in time, which is great. Um, I'll take the, I'll take the disconnect win, you know? I'll definitely take it. 3,200 rating, I mean, that will shoot me through the roof as far as my rating is concerned. But I don't want to take it that way. I definitely want to play my game out. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'll take the free rating. I'm just saying, that's it, right? 
Uh, this is this might go on for a while, guys. I'll I'll update you shortly, hopefully when he reconnects. Okay, so we actually reconnected there, which is uh, I guess I guess it's all right. I'll I'll take it. You know, it's not bad. And we're gonna go again, try to knock out Gyarados. Like I said earlier, definitely pretty important at this point in time. He's gonna actually attack the Empoleon, which is kind of crazy, but will actually work out for him. Oh boy. Okay, so what? We need we need to actually get rid of this Gyarados. We need to storm this Gyarados away. Needs to happen right now. It will not happen. That is actually going to be the game, guys. That is actually going to be the game. Um, or most likely, anyways. We're, I guess we're free to put out a Magikarp right now. Um, or Greninja. I guess Greninja doesn't have a terrible matchup. You know, it's like a 1 in 4 on both sides, right? 1 in 4 both sides. I'll take those odds. We'll go for that, guys. We'll go for it. Because what? Like, 1, one is uh, giving us a free turn so we can put our our Magikarp down or our mana fee down even I guess if we really wanted to right um but the other one is actually just gonna knock him out so I mean we've got like a one in four of just knocking him out that's not bad that's not bad at all so he's gonna advance sort of make it so he's applying some pressure there now do I need to move off of the entry point that's the real question right now I think I do I think I do that's not good. He's going to attack with Terrakion after he takes the point. Um, I, need to, I need to have that spot. I need that spot. You know? I need that. So, I think I need to... I, I think I need to have this spot and then knock out Gyarados right now. We're not going to get the God Roll, unfortunately. That's actually going to be the game, guys. There's, I don't think, a single way that I can come back from this right now. Um... I guess what we can do, we can do, we can chance things. We can definitely chance things. That's uh, that's a fine, that's a fine thing we can do right now. And that is not going to work out. We are going to actually proc our Gyarados, which is only three chain levels though. So, you know, I mean, that, uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're we're still living. We're still breathing, right? Um, you know, we do have Empoleon, so I guess I might as well put him out, right? Then we're free to back off. You don't, again, have any offensive pressure with Hurdle Jump, which is nice. So we're good on that front. You know, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. We're not doing terrible. Now, this is not good. This is not good at all. We need to knock out Zapdos right now. And if we do, we actually can get our game back. No, that is going to be the game, guys. God dang it. We have been losing so hard the past two days. Mm, not cool. Not cool at all. Not happy about this one. That's a surround kill. And that's going to be the game. Good game, Lieutenant Surge. I liked you better in uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, but okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. That's fine. So we're probably going to go down about 15, maybe, rating, right? 16 rating. Down to 28-33. We are just losing so many times, guys. Can we, can we regain some of this episode, some positivity here? No, that's going to be an uncommon. We got a Tauros, a Duosion cube common so that's absolute trash so this just wasn't a great episode guys but then again i have to get back in the swing of things here i haven't played this very much in the past long while probably a few weeks since i've actually played any ranked games so um hopefully you guys are okay with me just trying to get back into the swing of things here hope you enjoyed today's video despite losing and i uh, hope to see you back here for the next video very very shortly until then peace